All right, uh, Phil K with RollingBarge.com. We're underneath one of our uh, bridge bridge kits. This is a fully assembled bridge kit. So you see, we've got 48 feet long and six foot wide bridge. Um, so you'll see here that the bridge is actually built in four foot sections. So each one of these sections takes a four foot wide piece of plywood. So all of our plywood was originally came four by eight. We cut it off to six. It came through. You'll see the screws here. You can see the screws that came through. We use uh, self-drilling, self-tapping screws that screw in from the top that come down into the channel, in, into the channels that support the, uh, that are the deck, that are support. So everything is tied together. Those screws are every four inches. Um, so, so under the bridge here, you'll see the bottom is black. And that's because the panels, the plywood panels that we use have a, have, have a vinyl backing. So that vinyl is there to separate the copper impregnated treated plywood from the aluminum. There'll be a galvanic reaction between those two. Um, now, if you're using a plywood, a, a, a treated plywood that doesn't have that backer, then you're gonna wanna paint the edges of the aluminum and uh, Home Depot sells a knife, nice uh, self, uh, 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 what do they call it, but a, a primer a special aluminum primer, self-etching aluminum primer paint that's very easy. You just brush it on, you give it 30 minutes to dry, and then you can put your decking down. So um, that is how we are, uh, that is how we finish it. You can see the screws, uh, heads of the screws coming through. Uh, again, we talked about a screw every four inches, um, and that deck is a very integral part of the entire structure, which is why this bridge can handle 100 mile an hour wind. Uh, while it's loaded with 3,000 pounds of live load bouncing across and 10 pounds of per square foot of snow. So, thank you from rollingbarge.com.